Hi friends! Today we are going to read the story Pete the Cat's Big Easter Adventure and I am so excited for you to hear this story because this story really talks about being kind and helping others and I think that that is so important right now. Um, in this story, you're going to hear a lot of rhyming words. So I'm hoping that as we go through the story, if you can point out those rhyming words on each page, that would be amazing. And maybe post them on our Google Classroom so that I know which rhyming words you heard. Also, at the end of the story, I'm hoping that you will draw a picture and write a sentence about your favorite part of the story. You might also notice that as we read the story, um, close to the front. I have a little message from one of my old students because he gave me this story. Anyway, I am hoping you are enjoying it and I miss you. Talk to you soon. Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh-oh, his basket was empty except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs, paint the eggs, hide the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Where are these? Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny? Now that's funny. Happy Easter chickens. Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter bunny. Sure, Pete, we have a lot of eggs, the chicken said. We are happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and a fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny. A cat dressed up like a bunny. Now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late, but he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop. Hop off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color, some eggs had two, some eggs were red, and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And then when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter Bunny arrived. Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Number one helper. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody.